Hello, guys. Uh, welcome back to Mason African Motives. Uh, still uh, working on industrial electronics and to that is uh, apply, applying our AC theory. That is alternating current uh, theory. We've got our question paper from November 2018 that we are going to uh, consider here, question number three. So we are given that uh, the maximum value here, given the maximum uh, value of 30 volts and the following mid ordinates, take note what are we given here? We are given the mid ordinates, that is the mid values uh, for given a uh, particular sine wave. Remember, on a sine wave, it's like this. You are going to obtain uh, something like this. All right. So these are just instantaneous values that we are given corresponding to a particular uh, time that we are given. So these are simply the mid ordinates taken from a normal sine wave in this case, which is the graph of a, a, a sine wave. So from the information now we are given, determine the following 3.11, the RMS value and the average value, all right. These values we are given uh, the formulas from our formula sheet when you are dealing with the uh, mid ordinates. All right, so I'm going to show you this is for the alternating current theory, the formulas that you're supposed to be working with. So for the mid ordinates, this is uh, what you're supposed to apply uh, this concept here, whereby you have got the average value given from the ordinates E1, E2, up to the last one divided by the number of ordinates that are there. They're the same as the average current. For the RMS value, we are going to use this formula, the square root of these values being squared and so forth. So that is how you can have uh, your values from. So simply with this formula, we can have our RMS value and our average value, everything you are given. So we are going to consider uh, the first one, the RMS value. So as we saw from our formula, uh, the RMS value is given by, so this is VRMS since we are talking about voltage. All right, so I'm gonna have it here. So the VRMS as uh, given for the formula, it was the square root of, so we are going to have, to, it, we are going to have the square root of V1 squared. Uh, plus V2 squared and so on and so on up to the last term. In this case, we are talking about V1, V2 up to V6. So if you want to square them, you can write it uh, V3 uh, squared plus uh, V4 squared plus uh, V5 squared plus uh, V6 squared up to the last one. Then we divide by the number of uh, terms in this case, which means how many are we talking about how many mid or already mid or that this was there are six of them. So we are going to divide by n, which is our six. So here let us substitute our VRMS is going to be equal to what? If we are to substitute this part, we are going to have the square root of uh let's substitute v1. So that's gonna be five squared plus uh v2 which is uh, 14 squared, uh, V3 squared, which is uh, 24. So that's gonna be 24 squared plus uh, V4. So this one guys is direct on your formula uh, and so on. Uh, this one is 10 squared and we have got our V6 in this case, which is three also, that will be a three squared, all right. So that's everything under the square root. This is under the square root, the number of ordinates, which is in this case, we said there are six. So it's under the, the square root, take note. So that means at the end, if we are to simplify here, uh, we are going to obtain our VRMS as uh, the square root of this one, guys, simplify direct on your calculator. You are going to obtain 1,000. 390 over over six, which is going to give us a uh, uh, 15 comma, that's 15 comma two, two, uh, zero, six, zero, zero, and so on, which is a uh, 15 comma two, two, one uh, volts in this case. All right, so that was uh, what you're supposed to have and everything is supposed to be covered by the square. So if you check your memo, that is error there because they did not cover 
everything under the square root, all right? The n that we are talking about there is under the square root. I want you to check on your formulas properly. The n here that we are talking about is under the square root. It's also affected by the square root. So that was an error that you're given there uh, on your memo to say the six was outside of the square root. So you have to correct that part. All right, so that is a idea of the first question. Uh, and we have the average value also. So as I said, uh, also we have from our formulas, so we need this value. So the average value still on 3.11. Now we need the average value. So we saw that from our formulas, you add the voltages. There's no square root this time. You're simply adding your voltages. So it's gonna be V1 plus V2 up to the last one, plus V3 uh, plus V4 plus V5 plus a V6 up to the last divided by the number of terms, which is six in this case. All right, so uh, which is the number of ordinates that you're given. So here we are simply adding our voltages direct. So we have got five uh, plus 14 uh, plus 24 plus 22 plus 10. Uh, plus six. So that is what you're going to have everything over the number of the ordinates that you're given, which is in this case, that's a six. So this was going to give us uh, 13 volts at the end. If you divide it, everything, then divide, you're going to obtain uh, 13 volts. So that was the average value. All right. So the use of formulas, guys, the use of formulas. All right. Then we move on to the other one that is uh, 3.1 to the form and the crest factor. So we're talking about the form factor and the crest factor. Let us go to our formula sheet again. The form factor is the RMS value over the average value. The crest factor, the maximum value over the RMS value. We have this formula. So it was just an application now because we calculated the RMS value, we also calculated the average value so we can just substitute. We have our RMS value, remember here, we calculated our RMS value and here we calculated our average value. All right, so we are going to have it here, that's 3.12. We are going to start with the form factor. So as we saw from our formula that the form factor is given as the RMS value, you consider the value of for the RMS over the average value. So we are going to have this as the average value. So the RMS value that you're talking about in this case, we're talking of voltage because we, we're talking about, we're calculating voltage. The average value is the V average. All right, so we are going to just substitute we have our RMS value, 15.221. So we are going to use this one, 15.221. All right, so if we had to substitute here, we got 15.221, everything over the average value, we got our average value, the average was 13. So that is a condition of your question. So from this part, we are going to obtain 1 comma 1708, which is the 08. The 8 is going to change this into a 1. All right, so that's the form factor. Remember, these are volts, volts, so this part cancels. So the form factor is just a constant. We do not have uh, the units there. And also, we were asked to calculate the crest factor on the same uh, question. We need the crest factor, which we were given as the maximum value. So take note you are given there as the maximum value over the RMS value, all right. And we have these values. Where are we going to obtain uh, the maximum value? The maximum value, if you check on the information where we are given here, we are given that given the maximum value of 30 volts. So that is, we have the maximum value there. So our maximum value is being 30 volts. So that is 30 divided to the RMS value, the one that we calculated here, our RMS value was 15.221. So we are going to divide to 15.221. So let us see what you're going to have at the end, uh, 15.221. Use your calculator properly. That is going to give us 1.97096 uh, and so on. So that will be 71. Also, 
these are votes, these are votes, so these cancels. So it means your answer is a constant. You do not have uh, the units there. All right, so that was the first application of our question 3.1. 3.2, we are now given a sign we have presented now uh, an alternative voltage is represented by this equation, whereby E is equal to 45 sine 220T. Uh, I explained this in another class to say that this e formula here, it represents, uh, there are a lot of things that we have got here. All right, so this is our voltage that we are given. So this, it represents the maximum voltage, which is our E max, all right? So that is our E max there, the maximum voltage. Then the 220 that we see here, it represents the omega. So that is your omega, where we know that omega is equal to two pi f. These are the some of the things that you just you just need to know. All right, of which that is not part of our question. The question is to calculate the following. All right, 3.1, 3.21, the maximum value of the alternating current. So are we going to calculate? Uh, the maximum value in this case, or we are going to state this one, we are just going to state, because I said the maximum value that is our E max here. So the maximum value is already given as a 45. So that's 45 volts in this case. All right, 3.22, the RMS value of the alternating voltage. Now we are no longer using the concept that we talked about here, the RMS value where we worked with the square roots and so forth. On a sine wave, the RMS value has changed now. We also use our formula, which is 0, comma, uh, 0, comma, so the e RMS, the RMS value is 0, comma, 7, 0, 7 times the maximum value. So you, max, you multiply to the maximum value. Also, you are given Okay, let's not act like this part you are not given. You are also given this, so I want you to check uh, on this part here, on the uh, sign uh, part or, out, or alternating current, uh, where do we have this on top here? If you check, we have got uh, the RMS values, zero comma this, when you are given your sine wave as E is equal to E max sine two pi FT, this is the maximum value. So meaning to say, if you want RMS values, this one times maximum average value, zero comma uh, 637 times maximum value, you're also given. And uh, the form factor applies everywhere, this one, and the, the crest factor, they apply both even for this part. But here we are not using these formulas. These ones, you use them when you are given ordinates. Uh, but in this case, we are not given ordinates. So we are given a sine wave, so that's, that's why. I'm using the 0 0.707 times E max. So here we are just going to multiply because we have these values here. So that means we are going to have 0 0.707 uh, times the maximum value we said is 45. So we are going to multiply to 45. So that is going to give us 38,815 in volts in this case. All right, so that's it. Then we move on to the frequency of the alternating voltage, what is going to be the frequency? All right, remember I was referring to this omega here. And if you check even the way that is given on your formula sheet, they wrote this as, uh, let me write it this way, uh, 3.23, that this can be given as E is equivalent to E max, which is the maximum voltage that we have here. So E is equal to E max. Uh, sine omega, this omega here is simply represents two pi f. This is your omega t. So this is your omega, this one. So this omega is equal to two pi f. So meaning to say, if our omega is equal to two pi f, then we can calculate our frequency by dividing by two pi, both sides here by dividing by two pi. That means you remain with a frequency which will be equal to omega over two pi by making uh, the frequency the subject of the formula. And this omega here, this one, is the one that I explained that our omega here is 220. So that means we can simply calculate our frequency at the end because we have our omega here, which is 220. So we are going to have 220 divided to two pi. So by doing this, guys, you are obtaining the exact 
value of frequency uh, for this sine wave. So that was going to give us uh, 35.014. Remember, your frequency is measured in hertz. So that means you have to indicate the units there for frequency. So this is how you play around with your formulas. This is how you play around with your questions. No exact formula and how to use that formula. That is the easiest thing uh, that you need so that you can be able to attempt uh, these typical questions. But for now, guys, that's it till we meet again.